How's the lighting, guys? Oh, this is such a good song. Welcome back to my channel. It's Kira. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today I am coming at you with some tips on coming out as LGBTQ+. I know that some of you aren't LGBTQ+, that are watching this, um, but if you are um, and you're, you know, at the moment you're closeted and you're kind of considering coming out, then I hope these tips help you. These are just things that have helped me along the way. Um, they may not help everyone, but if they do, I really, that, that's the goal. That's the goal, folks. So, the first tip that I have for you guys is honestly, you don't need to come out. A lot of people don't come out. Like, you don't need to have this like grandiose announcement and like sit your whole family down. If that feels like the thing that you should do, then do it but I'm just letting you know right now you don't have to. Like you don't have to announce your sexuality or your gender to the world unless you want to. You know what I mean? Like it's all up to you. Like whatever feels more comfortable. If you want to wait a little bit and then come out when you're more comfortable, then that's cool too. Just letting you know you don't need to come out at all. <laughs> also, there's no rush. If you're still figuring things out, then just give yourself some time. Everyone takes time to figure out who they are, their identity, and even like other things about themselves. There's no rush. Take your own time. Go on your own pace. Um, don't just come out because people are telling you to. Um, please don't let anyone like force you to come out if you're not like comfortable with it, um, because that can be really not a good situation. Also, a thing you guys have to consider is think about like the social climate of where you live. Is it safe to come out as LGBTQ+, where you live, in your country, in your community? Um, I know here in Canada, it's very accepted here, um, but a lot of places around the world, it's not, and it's really dangerous actually to come out as LGBTQ+. So, Please, please just don't put yourself in a dangerous situation. Another thing, you don't necessarily have to put a label on it. If you're still like unsure of like what you want to identify as, that's okay. Like for a while, I didn't really want to label myself. A lot of people like go their entire lives and don't put a label on their sexuality or their gender at all. So there's no pressure to put a label on yourself. I mean, some people really, really need labels. They love the idea of a label and that's cool, but some people don't and that's also cool too. So just letting you know you have the option. So after I put all that out there, if you do feel like you truly are safe to come out um, and that you want to and that you're comfortable with it, start small. Um, you can like drop hints here and there to let your family and friends kind of get used to that. You can start by just telling one person, like you can start by, let's say, you know, your best friend. You could start by doing that. I think I did that. I'm pretty sure I did that. I think the per first person I told that I was questioning my sexuality was my best friend and luckily like she was super cool with it. Um, and that made me feel really great and it made me feel like I could expand to like how many people knew about my sexuality. Um, and then eventually I told my mom and eventually I told my dad. The majority of my family knows. Um, so you can just start with one person and grow from there. You don't have to make it a whole like, you know, family or friend or deal. I mean you could, but you don't have to. This is something I kind of had to understand myself. Um, you have to understand that your parents and grandparents are from a different generation and it's not their fault that they were brought up in a different era where the social climate was a lot different than it is now. I mean, I'm speaking about Canada, like the North America. You know, back in the day, like being gay was not okay um, and now it is. So just remember that your parents and grandparents um, and aunts and uncles and stuff grew up in a different time than us. Don't be stressed out if they have, you know, they could have pre-existing prejudices against the LGBT community. That's normal for their age. Um, a lot of adults are very progressive, which is amazing, so they might not be, but um, just, just remember that. Just keep that in mind 
and also give them time. This is also something I had to do. Um, you know, give your parents time or your family time to digest what you're telling them. It's okay if they don't come out and accept it right away. Like, just as long as like you give them some time for it to process. Everyone needs time for things to process. You probably needed time um, for yourself to process your sexuality and like coming into your identity. With that being said, understand that also everyone's different, you know, no matter how old they are, understand that some people will be shocked and some people will be completely indifferent about what you're telling them. So be prepared for both reactions or, you know, any other reaction. You might be really surprised and like, you know, come out to someone and then everyone's like really, really accepting right off the bat. It doesn't have to be negative. Like when you come out, like, you, like it doesn't, it's not always bad, you know what I mean? Like oftentimes it's like really good. So you honestly never know. Like I don't know what your situation is like, but just keep an open mind in general. This is a good one. Um, don't feel like you have to change yourself to fit into a stereotype of a label. Let's say you are a very like feminine presenting lesbian. Don't feel pressured that you have to change your style or your fashion uh, choices to dress more masculine because that's the stereotype of like a like a butch lesbian. Just do what you're comfortable with, you know what I mean? Like you don't need to fit into a stereotype. Like stereotypes are dumb anyways. I honestly, I did like kind of struggle with this because I was like, I do dress very feminine and I have like longer hair. Um, so like other girls aren't gonna know that I'm gay. Therefore, like I'm never gonna get a girlfriend. You know what I mean? That was like my thought process, but that's honestly like, I, I understand like why I thought that way, but now I'm kind of like, no, I, I'm just gonna be myself. But if you do feel like dressing more masculine and that's what makes you more comfortable, go ahead, do that. And same goes for guys, you know what I mean? Just like, whatever you identify as, just remember you can dress and look however you want. And the last point I have is don't force others to come out. Um, you know, let's say you have a friend that's gay. Just don't force them to come out um, when they're not comfortable to come out. Love and accept them for where they are on their journey and let them do whatever they feel is most comfortable. Yeah, just remember like, don't feel forced to come out. Come out if you want to. Do whatever makes you most comfortable. Don't put yourself in a dangerous situation. If you are questioning your sexuality and if you are having some issues with like feeling like you wanna come out, then I really hope that these tips help you. Just know that like I am here to support you. Um, I will always be here to support you. Like if you have a question for me, put it down in the comments below. I will answer you as best as I can. I love talking to you guys so much and I absolutely adore when I get comments, because, like obviously positive comments or like, you know, people who are asking questions. Like, I want to see that. If you don't have like people in your life that, that talk about this kind of thing or that will help you with this kind of thing, just know that I am here for you and my community is here for you. Have an amazing rest of your day. I love you to the moon and beyond, and yeah, bye.